Sekere, hands down, is one of my favorite animes of all time. I mean, it's your typical harem, but with great battles and great characters and great character designs, may I add. Now, if everybody, I don't think a lot of people know this, but Sekere, the manga, has ended. It's it's over. If you want to check it out, go ahead to Manga here or just links like that. You can read all the chapters, and it's a really good manga, actually. I think some people have a problem with the ending, but this is where I'm going to explain a little bit of the ending and just really the ending and maybe a little bit of the things leading up to the ending, but mostly the, the ending ending of maybe the big happy ending that I think you guys are all wondering if it happened or not. And that's exactly what we get from Sekere. The last chapter and the last couple chapters is a big kind of happy ending for a lot of these characters. Now little bit of backstory i mean watching sekere uh, i watched it i first found sekere on netflix and i watched the first of course the first season and man i fell in love it's you know about the sekere plan it's about minato being an ashikabi and ashikabi is uh, for a sekere to pretty much <laughs> uh contact they need to kiss their ashikabi their one true love and they'll be able to wing and they have powers and they have the their sekere plan all of them have to fight one another and only one ashikabi and one sekere can be granted a wish at the end, very end of this game this game that the president has created so these sekere are pretty much like goddesses and the first we follow Minato, and Minato is just down on his luck. He's not the most capable and strongest person in the world, but he does have a great heart. And he stumbles upon, or Musubi stumbles upon, Minato. And of course, love at first sight, so to speak, and they go through situations together, and she asks him to wing her, and he does. And that is his Sekere, and that he is her Ashikabi. And along through the series, we meet other characters and we get other characters being winged. We meet the landlady who they they end up, because Minato can't stay at his place. He doesn't have enough money, he doesn't have enough rent. His mom cuts him off at that point. So he finds another place to live and this landlady gives him a place to live. But And she's the most sweetest person ever. And then we have a freaking... Minato starts weaning a lot of the different girls. And a lot of these girls I absolutely love. I mean, I love Matsu. Matsu is just a scientist. She used to work with the MBI. Used to, she is a secretary herself. She used to be in the, one of the... Uh, kind of like the groups where they keep in order of all the secretary so she's a smart she's able to hack into satellites with the mbi satellites and she's just a monster when it comes to hacking she and just this she's just a gifted smart secretary she, that's her ability that's her power so of course she gets winged by minato and then you have uh, a little girl named kazu kazu is able to manipulate a lot of the forestry around her and then you have my absolute favorite skewmi skewmi is able she she said her dialogue is so much different she it's like shakespearean sort of and well she has the uh, she's one of the strongest secretary that minato has because they're all numbered well she, her able is to manipulate water as well manipulate water and she is just a a very brass uh you could say uh a su uh, a sune, uh no tsunami a tsunami <laughs> Sune tsunade tsunade type character where she's brash and she's kind of like i mean it all but i i just love her character and i love her look too it, it really reminds me of Hagenai as well with the relationship between her and Musubi because it's a rival like relationship but Musubi is such a sweetheart herself uh you have Hamura Hamura is you don't know if he's a boy or a girl but then you find out later on in the series that yes he his or her body transforms depending on the Ashikabi that she's going to be with uh Ka Kazu uh, uh Kazu Ka Kasuja Chan or something like that. Um, she is awesome. She's a drunk. <laughs> she loves her sake. She's just absolute. She's a beautiful woman who actually had relationships, relations with uh, Minato's father, the president. But 
she is in love, truly in love with Minato in the series, and you see that along, you know, along the way as as well. Then you have Uzum, Uzumi, uh, who is just pretty much another uh, uh, somebody who lives in the same building, or same uh, along with the land, the landlord lets live in the same um, place as Minato and all the girls and stuff. So I mean, this this there's a lot of great characters and there's a lot of great battles and stuff. So when season one hit and I watched that I had I needed season two and then season two came out and it was pure engagement I freaking I loved it I loved both the season I'm like when's season three gonna happen and then I heard the manga is still going I'm like okay maybe the manga ends and then we get our season three and then th there is you know there's secretary number four uh, she she is uh, definitely wants to fight Musabi throughout the whole uh, the whole series and stuff and then there's the president's plan and then along the way so we learn that we get more more we meet more characters i mean we met matt seal and seal my boy seal i love i loved him i loved him in the series the two anime uh, series seasons he's awesome i love his secretary as well the lightning girls uh but we get him in the manga a little bit more we get different type of characters and we learn their stories and we learn uh minito minito goes uh it just gets more crazier so to speak in the story and it kind of gets messy honestly towards the very end of the story but all you guys need to know so i'm going to explain what happens at the end this whole happy ending is that there's a ko uh, kaiton uh <laughs> president actually the president actually gets i think like knocked out and he doesn't uh <laughs> he's not even there for the final stage the final battle but this um so it's winding down right the secretary plan's winding down this is what the president planned on happening um and then this kaiton is up in the sky i believe it's called a ko koiton i can't really uh, pronounce it really well as you can tell and so basically the secondary plan is all um, almost done uh the last remaining few but musubi uh of course fights with uh secondary number four i can't secondary number four and she ends up losing uh, well musubi ends up beating uh number four and but so she is kind of like the last remaining uh and then she goes to the kaiton so the kaiton the one who is helming it though this is the basically the creme de la creme where all secretaries like you know all these secretaries are deactivated and this and that this is where you need to be this is where the last person you need to fight in order to to get your wish and this and that so musubi finds out that she's not she's fighting because she's the one that's picked and she she has everybody's you know will everybody's wish she has minito's wish all on her shoulders she goes up to the kaiton and the kites the kaiton guess who is the person who she's facing right in front of her it's the landlady the landlady the strongest number zero zero they clash and then musubi ends up winning that fight and musubi ends up uh, reactivating all the wings because minito's wish is for all the secretary to to choose, right? To break the chains and for the little birds to get out of the cage and for them to choose what they want to do. A lot of their mem a lot of the secretary's memories are gone, except for Minato's and some other characters who are kind of like involved in the last fight. But a lot of the secretaries who have been reactive, re uh, reactive and um, don't are some of them who don't even have crests they lose their memories but that was Minato's wish was for all the secretaries to choose to do what they want to do and even though it's still the secretary plan is still commencing there's still things going it, it leaves a open ending so to speak because the president is still at large he wakes up <laughs> Minato tells him and Minato finds out that that's his papa he, he finds out that's his dad and he says it's not it's okay you know it's it's not gonna change me uh it's interesting but i'm pretty sure that the president if if i like Sekere, i think he likes Sekere as well so he he's pretty much saying that yeah basically he's my okay i know who my dad is but i'm not gonna let that change me and i'm gonna just keep doing what i always did without him um so the president is like and then he has a ship going on and stuff he's repairing the ship and everything uh because he had his ship at this point and he, he yeah so the mbi is st still going on 
uh, Minato's mom is still working, uh, but Minato wants to be involved with a lot of what MBI is doing because he wants to learn more so he could help a lot of these secretary out there. And Hamada is still doing her stuff. She, uh, and I'll get to that in a moment. But yeah, so Musabi though has to stay at the co the Koitan because she has to take control of this court that the Koitan has and kind of absorb absorb it be one with it but she tells Minito and everybody like everybody watch Minito while I'm gone I'll be back so Musubi explains to Minito I will be back but I have to in order for your wish to come true I have to do some things so that's exactly what she does she stays up there while Minito and everybody looks from afar it's kind of like Eureka 7's ending where Eureka and Renton are kind of like in their honeymoon on the moon but someday they're going to come back that's kind of like what's going on with Sekere. So, um, going to the individuals now. The individuals, Minato and all everybody is happily at the house. Uzume gets reactivated, but she her memories are not all there, but she still is able to. Uzume, who remember, in the, I believe the second season or the first season, she dies, or presumably she dies. Well, she of course gets re resurrected or reactivated, and she's able to actually be with the person that she loved, that, that girl, and they both, as the Ashikabe, they, Uzume gets weaned again, and now they are able to stay forever with each other. So that relationship comes with a happy ending. Uzume is back, and they actually throw a party at the inn, at the, the house where uh, the landlady is actually awake. The landlady is able to uh, wake up. Uh, Musabi was able to help her and bring her back, reactivate her as well. Uh, but she and what's crazy is that the landlady's husband is actually it is hinted that he's still alive. He's just sleeping, and number four is still sleeping as well because number four just like couldn't deal with all this stuff, and he, she said just like leave me out of it. So number four is sleeping, and the landlady's husband is actually not dead he's actually kind of he, he's in kind of somewhat of a, like a coma or like just sleeping so that's that's hinted that he he'll wake up someday which is kind of crazy uh so the landlady's fine though she's awake uh, some of her memories wasn't there when she woke up but she remembers everything pretty much starts remembering everything she's weak right now but uh and matsu is kind of telling kind of told like Minato like maybe she's like really kind of weak and stuff maybe you should wing her and Minato says it's not my place to wing her uh there's her husband and that's why it's so hinted that he's still alive so Uzumi gets a happy ending landlady gets a happy ending seal seal always coming over to go get that rice go get that food he has a happy ending this dude did work man we see him with kids we see him with like a bunch of kids. It's kind of this is kind of crazy, man. He's doing the Beezle Bub because the Beezle, like when they cry, I think it was like a shout out to Beezle Bub because when the kids cry, all you see is lightning all over the place, and you see his secretary saying, "Hey, kids, don't like don't the twin sisters like don't don't be uh, shocking daddy." So this dude did work. He has a lot of work on his hands, so he has a happy ending because Minato does say that he's looks like he's happy, and um, so let's go on to Minato's uh, secretary. Let's go on to the first one, the first one that we see. Uh, because everybody gets her shining moment at the end of this manga and Hamada Hamada is the first one up I like Hamada I've liked uh, hit him her and I like the story and the conflict that was going on between choosing to be a man and a woman this is how you know Minito was such a great character when he didn't really he didn't care he didn't care he just didn't want to see him or her hurt uh, that's why he weaned her or him uh, so because he was Homero was the last one not to be winked and if he was going to be winked he was going to be turned to ash so that's when he knew Minato had such a great heart and he was such a great character and Homero uh, it's still doing still doing I want to say I'm just going to say her still doing her thing protecting a lot of these Sekere who are maybe be forced to be winged or people are trying to have them as slaves and stuff he um uh, <laughs> See now I'm going back to he. He basically, yeah, he's protect. He's protecting them. He's protecting. He's still doing 
his thing about protecting all of them. And then Minato kind of makes a suggestion like, okay, I need to learn more about this so I could also do my part in protecting a lot of these secondary because this, this was my wish too. And Homura just absolutely just gushes and blushes and just was taken aback by that and just so happy with Minato. And then they lock lips or I should say Homura wanted to lock lips and they lock lips and they have, you know, an understanding happy ending. And that's one girl you know one girl down but Minato's wish was to live with everybody right and that's exactly what he's getting he's getting a hard on ending at the end of this manga so home that's a homura moment and then he had kazu kazu sleepy and kazu this is what i love that they didn't go the creator did not have kazu kiss Minato on the lips because i always thought that was kind of creepy with kazu being a little child and then uh, kid having to kiss Minato on the lips, they'll be weaned. It was it was it was weird. So at Kazu's, you know, she's sleepy. She actually saw um, she saw him kiss Hamura, and which is funny because he's uh, before then he kisses Kazuhana, and I'll get to that in a moment. But Kazu's like jealous, and then she says, "Well, I just want to be with you. You know, I want to be with you forever and ever." And that's Kazu's plan from the start. So she kisses him on the cheek, and it's a nice touching, like, it reminds me of, like, a brother and sister type moment. Then we have Kazuhana. Before Kazu kissed Minato on the cheek, Kazuhana's up on the rooftop. I mean, she's, like, drunk. She has sake bottles all over the place. Even Minato's like, oh, yeah, that's a lot. How many have you drank? And he's up on the roof, sits by her, and they're just discussing, and... Kazahana just kind of lays one on and fireworks are going and this is during the party fireworks are going and Kazahana just like she sees the man that he's become and what he wants to do and how manly it is so she kisses him and she, her wings come out and it's uh, it's a great scene I love Kazahana Kazahana was the funniest character in the secondary one or she was one of the funniest ones she was just a great she just was a joyful character and it was nice to have and she was bold she made Minato a man, like it was a bold, uh, she always did bold moves and she always was one to just get Minato's like, come here, like, uh, so that was a great moment. So moving from there, we had Matsu and Matsu spying on him, she still has a satellite and she's still uh, looking at the cartoon. she's still making sure that everything's fine with the Kaitun, if um, Musubi will come back, you know, make sure everything is fine, so she still has access to the MBI satellite. So she's like, oh yeah, I saw you flirting and all that stuff. Now I'm gonna, I want an exchange here for all, everything I'm doing for you, you know, make sure everything's okay. And if Moosey B's gonna come, I want some exchange. I want some of that. I want something you owe me. So she, what I didn't like was they didn't show the kiss of Matsu and Minato because I love Matsu. Matsu's such a funny ass character, such a great character. But the problem with the, a lot of the times with the manga and even the anime series, is they didn't have too much moments like love romantic moments between those two and i think uh they did have the moments it was played as comedic but i always wanted to see more of panels of maybe uh, like more kisses of matsu and minato if you know he's kissing all these other girls because matsu is such a great in character and she just she see her kind of stay away from everything that's the chaos is going to drama but she's still watching like going it's like she's kind of reminds me of the ryoko of the series honestly with just the I, well i want to say ryoko but it, it's it's just it, i would like to i would have loved to see that panel of her actually kissing him than just seeing light being burst out from the room because she, you know she got winged and stuff and it makes that big old light oh man i love skimmy i love skimmy skimmy is amazing so of course she's doing her she's not she, she told everybody no cheating until musubi comes until minto picks the wife he wants and she's doing her best to prove to minto that she uh is worthy of it she's making him lunch while he goes to school because minto is going in a university now and she's just doing everything she could do for wifely duties. And Minato compliments her food, and just you could just tell there's a if it, there's a connection between Minato and Musubi because those are the main characters, and there is a 
Skumi could be a main character as well because she has that connection with Minato. So both of them, and you could tell there's like sexual chemistry all the time with those two. And you know, they're smiling, they're she's blushing and she's just like, I wanna be, you know, I wanna be rewarded for my hard work too. And she lays one on Minato as well. And then she stops and says, this is cheating, no, Musubi, hurry up and come back. And it's funny when she says that, that's exactly what we get. Musubi comes back she like she promised she's with everybody and that's kind of where it ends that's kind of where it ends it leaves i don't know where you go after that i don't know if there's uh hints of maybe a sequel or something uh it kind of is because there's a lot of stuff that's kind of like they the off the creator wrapped it up very nicely with a lot of the happy moments but then there's like you know he is the landlord is lady uh landlord lord's uh husband gonna wake up um so what's what's gonna happen with like you know secretary are they really truly amongst the normal people like what's what's is there still a plan going on or do they start to fight each other is the content done the koi ton done what about the president like what's the president's next idea is this what the president wanted as well and i think he did so it's it's interesting how it all wrapped up but all wrapped up in a nice bow and happy ending and minato is with everybody now like what he wanted and then with side characters you had a sister with the her her secretary they have a happy ending uh you have a lot of the other characters like that one that one little boy who had like seven secretary or whatever uh he is an adventurer now so he goes off and does his own thing so you have all these other characters having a happy ending and of course you have the one character who uh minato was able to bust out when this whole secretary plan commenced and you know the, his secretary wasn't as strong uh the ashikabi secretary wasn't as strong and only had like that voice power thing so uh, they're ha ha happily kind of like they're kind of newlyweds honestly they're newlyweds so everybody has a happy ending in this and i think the overall ending of secretary was great because i think this series was going to end in a happier note and it should end in a happier note i think i would have liked um i think her name was kagura kagura number uh, secretary number four i think i would have liked her to maybe been awake and be with because her ashikabi ends up being with those you know the chick with the who had that who looked like the chick from uh looked like he was being street fighter had those gloves and stuff and then you had the other chick who looked like a shimigami honestly uh there, and then her ashikabi who didn't seem like they didn't, he didn't care uh they end up being with him happily with him but number four just ended up just going back and like they try to tell her they tried Musubi and all them try to tell her, like, that's, you know, he, that's your Ashikabi, you know, you have to, at one point, you must have loved your Ashikabi, but uh, number four couldn't just take it, so. But overall, great series, I uh, love the first two seasons of Sekure, the manga ended in, I believe, in a good note, of course, I would have liked a little bit more different of some things here and there, and it was kind of a messy sprint toward, toward the end, but, in all case, it, it ended pretty well, and I hope there's a season three coming out because I love Secretary. Secretary is that is that Hotum if you're looking for it because it's exactly what it ends up being a Hotum at the very end. I mean, Nanto ends up with all everybody, all the girls, all the girls, and they're happily together and they're they're down for, for it and uh co having a bunch of kids kind of hints at what minato is looking forward to so thank you guys for listening if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel we really appreciate it like the video if you like and comment below love to hear you guys thoughts on dan and make it dan's son and see you guys later secret baby skew me all the way and i love music